Rushman. And here's Poitras spinning and getting rejected by Brima, who just come in. Bounce pass, and the shot rattles home. That was Chroma, who also... That off of that block shot, another transition opportunity. Again, that's a concern for Kentucky. Here comes Napier, hitting the three-point shot. This is the major concern for Kentucky. All these screening rolls, a lot of switches. Napier can rise up and, and shoot over the top of anybody. But when you honor that, you can get right to the rim. Just kept moving the ball like a senior does. This time he frees himself up for an easy two. And a three-point shot switch. That's just a difficult matchup, guys, for James Young. I mean, his usual force. And that's boat right. It's always the Huskies, it seems, with the quickest hands tonight. And Napier, that will count. Poitras swats it away. And President Bush went, came to the opening ceremony to welcome the team to his hometown as Napier says hello to three-point land once again. You know, I was just about to comment on how the zone for Calipari has kind of changed the rhythm a little bit, but it hasn't changed the effectiveness of Napier. This is an excellent three-point shooting team, 39%. Napier, big step to the hole. Twist wow. the shot, and somehow able to contort. Well, they had valuable possessions when they had him on the bench. And here he takes the shot, coming back in, and upping the lead to nine. Well, Kentucky's defense has been dramatically better since that opening barrage. Napier, wow, right over Aaron Harrison. Napier now the 22. Here's Gafai, top of the key. And oh, they hit back-to-back -back threes. Cat performance. It's been UConn, Shabazz, Napier, and he's done it when his team has needed it time and time again offensively, but he's also leading them in rebounds with six in this game, which we talked about how important it was. Staying in front without fouling and then getting the rebound. Lob it underneath to Daniels. Two Wildcats commit. Daniels waited and was rewarded. Ball back out to Andrew for the three, and that one's off. Tapped under the hands of Boatwright with five seconds, and this most improbable tournament run comes to an end with a UConn championship.